Welcome back everybody to Undead Legacy. I'm an old guy gaming and uh, we are going to spend uh, this episode, uh, episode, <laughs> what the hell, episode, um, starting to clean up the upper floor of the Deshong Tower. So we're going to go through, remove rubble, broken stuff, and uh, we'll pick this up and then we're going, nah, screw that, I don't want to repair it. Um, then we're going to start doing um, our initial... Uh, move over to the tower from our existing place so my idea for that is let's see the elevators come out over there but I like I like this side of the the building better I like this kitchen this is a really neat kitchen and anything that's broken you know like cupboards and and the broken fridge we're gonna replace that with a uh, non broken versions and some of that stuff I might have to pull out of the creative menu if, if, if it's not craftable. We'll see, you know, how that works. So, and, and I like this corner here. I like the bedroom in this corner. Um, the kitchen's okay over here too, but we might open things up anyways and have this be a more spacious, you know, apartment kind of idea as opposed to two separate apartments. So... The booth thing is kind of cool looking too, actually. And uh, so, yeah, we're going to start cleaning up. So, um, what was I going to say? Oh, yeah, okay. So, but what I want to do then is I want to start bringing storage chests over. Uh, maybe we'll even just make some storage chests and maybe lining them up along this wall because this is the elevator shaft. This is where we're going to come up from. To move stuff over and you know maybe just use this hallway as our temporary uh place to get started with until you know we we start fixing things up so that that's kind of the plan at this point and i don't have time a lot of time in real life to do all of this off camera so i figured i'll do it on camera with you guys so you can so you can oh i can't i can't hold the yell on that and pick it up that kind of sucks that'd be kind of neat to have that um, I'm not, and I, I've mentioned this, this to you guys before, I'm not really, I don't like this penthouse as much as the other ones. So what we might do is we might end up gutting this place and using it as a storage facility or a, our crafting room maybe because it is closest to the elevators. Of course, you know, once we start repairing things, one of the first things we should do is make a more direct path over there just so we can get over to that area. And, you know, we'll, we'll just kind of see how things come together as we go along. But our first goal is just to get rid of all the crap. You know, anything that's broken or obstructed, that will repair. But like the spikes, for example, uh, we'll get rid of that. But anyway, what I was saying was um, I don't really have time to do all, all this off camera. So I'm just going to do it on camera with you guys. So that way I can get an episode out to you. And, you know, we're just going to kind of have a couple of you know, building, moving types of chill episodes and not so much, you know, the usual zombie head smashing. Uh, but we will definitely be getting back to that too. Okay, so let's, uh, yeah, let's get rid of all of this stuff here. I suppose I could go get my chainsaw for some of this, but that's all right. We'll just use the axe. It doesn't take that long. And, um... And then we want to, did I bring, I did, I brought these, these blocks with us so we could, we could potentially, you know, make ourselves, you know, start repairing this floor, uh, using those. I don't think I can repair. Well, actually let's try something here. If I repair this block, does it repair to a whole block? Oh, it's not even letting me repair it. Okay. All right. So anything that's like a partial broken block, we're just going to have to break it out then. All right. So yeah, let's um, just take this stuff out here. We also have the, you know, the elevator area that we, I want to build an, a more permanent, you know, plat, catwalk guardrail kind of idea. So we'll get that going here. And then we're going to have to do some absolutely serious stone harvesting. 
uh, stone mining in order to you know do the repairs uh, on this building but I've made the decision to do it so that's what we're gonna do uh, yeah that's only a thousand hit points let's take this out too because it's kind of looks weird up there and then we'll go around the rest of the the top floor here and just clear all the rest of the crap out of here Good. Okay, so that takes care of that. Um, let's go around this corner here. Probably am not going to do much of anything with the with the stairwell for now. Okay, so there isn't really anything else over here that's um, you know, broken or trashy that we need to fix, uh, take out. Those windows we'll need to do something with at some point. We don't really need bulletproof windows on the top floor here. Oh, there's like a little scaffolding thing out here. Did we come out here? We didn't. We never actually come out here. Oh, I know what I was going to say to you guys. Uh, you were telling me, some, some of you, or one or two of you anyways, were telling me in the comments that um yikes hope nobody's afraid of heights that the vertical bounds of our land claim block go all the way up to the top of the world and all the way down to the bottom of the world so they're not even though the bounding box shows you know a border it goes all the way up to the top and all the way to the bottom from what you were saying So, all right, so we got all that cleaned up. Is there anything in here to clean up? Yeah, let's get these uh, spikes here. We'll get those out of the way. Nope, hit the, hit the spike, man. Damn it. Damn it, Jim. There we go. The hitbox on these things is weird. Always has been. Always has been. All right. The, the broken cupboards and broken fridges, I'm going to leave that stuff until later. We won't worry about that for now. This we should be able to pick up and recycle in the disassembly station. Otherwise, this actually looks pretty, pretty cleaned up in here on that side. Okay, so let's go back through here. Uh, do I have the stuff to repair this? Yeah. We'll get that repaired. That's, oh, nope. We just ran out of planks. Okay. This is where I died. <laughs> this bathroom got creamed. Uh, so we'll have to fix that back up. No more real trashy things in here, though. Oh, we never checked you. Ah, look at that. Got ourselves a wall safe. Okay, let's take a, a jailbreakers. Lots of wolf say on this uh, top floor, man. That's cool. One pistol part. Lovely. Okay. I'm using a, a, a different mouse. My normal mouse, which is a Logitech G20 something. It's a wireless mouse. Um, it broke on me. So I'm actually using... A wired uh, Logitech G403. It's an actual gaming mouse. And, it, you know, it's kind of like my backup mouse. I use the other one because it's a lot more comfortable for my hand. But uh, I had to switch, you know, back to this one. And I'm not quite used to it. Even though this is actually technically a much better mouse. Because this is a, a, an actual gaming mouse. But I'm trying to adjust the the DPI on it and that sort of thing and get used to it. So if I seem a little awkward a little here and there, that's why. If I had another, a couple more advanced repair kits or even one more advanced repair kit, I'd bring the Valkyrie drill up here for this, but I only have two and I need, I need them for an upgrade or something. I can't remember what it is. 
Oh wow, it's nighttime. Okay. Oh, well, we don't gotta worry about that up here. It'll be fun when we go back down though. I think we're probably so high up the zombos can't even detect us up here. Maybe, we'll see. I do plan on, I think I mentioned this to you guys in the last episode, but I do plan on making another um, killing floor, killing zone, whatever, uh, for this building too. But that's not something that's going to happen immediately because we got more pressing things to, to do first. I want to check something real quick. A little lag there. Uh, we yeah we already we already got that safe okay couldn't remember for sure all right I don't think there's anything around this corner that needs to be cleared up let's go into here we got a a toolbox and that's pretty much it for here too and we did do that safe yes it says empty. Beautiful. And then finally, again, I don't think there's anything broken in here. Oh, yeah, there is, actually. Let's grab that. Um, actually, we should... Well, we damaged it now. Yeah, we'll just break it. I was going to say we could have picked that up and stored a couple things. And I really wish we could pick this thing up. But, no, it just opens when I... Well, maybe, you know what, maybe what we'll do is we'll, we might keep it there. And this could be like our, our high valuables chest. Not like, it's not like Edgar's going to come in here and steal our shit though. <laughs> so it doesn't really matter, but you never know about that Edgar. Okay. So that's about all we need to do in terms of just clearing out the crap on the first floor. So let's go back to the base and uh, I want to see if I have the stuff that I need to make storage boxes. I mean, we've been using all along, in fact, we've been using containers that we've gotten from, you know, from trader jobs. But I think it's time for us to get the, the big actual storage. All right, let's make sure we get all of our stamina back because we're probably going to have some company down here. Got that feral sense on, so those bastards can hear us from ten miles away. Right. I've pondered the possibility of using our this building as a horde base, turning it. Uh, oh, can I get through there? Yeah, turning it into a horde base of sorts. Um, where am I going? Oh, in here. I got a little turned around there for a second. Is that empty? Yeah. So that's a possibility too. We'll, we'll see. Um, I have a couple potential ideas, but I don't want to really share them with you until I have a chance to think about it a little bit more and see if, uh, you know, they're going to be feasible. Actually, let's go back down here to here. And we can scrap that. Do I have two of those? Just the one. Okay. All right. Let's look in probably, no, probably the carpentry station. Uh, okay. So what is this? This is wood storage. Various storage solutions made out of wood. Okay. So what's this? That's cardboard box storage. I think this is probably what we want. Let's make one of these and just see what the options are. My my mouse seems a little bit hot when I'm moving around, but when I'm in an when I'm in the menu, it's I don't know, it's I'm just I guess I'm just not used to it. It doesn't seem to move through the menus very quickly. But I, I wouldn't want it any faster than it already is, you know, for moving my character around. Okay, so if we hold down R and go to here, 
gives us all of these different options. These are kind of cool looking wood chests. A singed wood crate, a secure wood crate, a signed wood crate, a wood crate, secure wood chest. Oh, no, that's signed and not singed. Okay. <laughs> I, thought it, I thought it said singed at first. It says signed. Okay, so these are the secure versions. These are the non-secure versions. These are your typical crates. Signed wood crate, signed wood crate, and these are... What's the difference between these and these? Okay, so that one looks like that. What about this one? They look the same. Well, except for the text is a little different. Right. Okay, so I think what we want is this. Because then we can put text on it. Right. Okay. And how many slots? Oh, that's not, that's actually not a lot of slots. It's not the same amount that the vanilla has. What do we have? Six across the top and six across the bottom. So there's 36 slots. What is it? What do these have? Same, same. Um, is there, okay, so that may, means there's got to be a larger type of chest that we can make. And we probably can't do that until we upgrade this to a tier three carpentry bench. Let's, how many slots does this have? Let's look. I'm just curious more than anything. And it's cheap enough to make. Yeah, same, same number. No, that's actually got one less row of slots in it. So this is a five by six. Okay. This is a six by six. What do we need to upgrade this? We need a bunch of logs. I have the table saw. It's just not in a container that's broadcasting and we would need some iron. Might behoove us to do this now just so we can make the big chest right off the bat you know, which will make our move and stuff easier. I just would have, have to go cut a crap ton of wood, and we would need to do a little more iron mining, too, unless I have plates in here. Do I? No, I don't. The only plates that we currently have are these right here. Oh, we have ingots, though. Okay, how many plates do you need again? Let's look at that again. So we'd need to make another 35. Uh, Yeah, we could do that. So, yeah, I don't know why the mouse is like really, it's not so much that it's sluggish, it's just slow, which I know means kind of the same thing, but I'm, I, I, <laughs> you guys are going, uh, isn't that the same thing? What I mean is it's not, it doesn't feel like menu lag. It just feels like the cursor is really slow in here, but you know, I'm, this is on the borderline of being too fast, you know, for for me for moving my character so i don't know it's just really odd whatever anyway we'll we'll deal with it so okay so we can make all the iron plating that we need for that upgrade um oh wait do we need two ingots for hold on ah crap i forgot about that we need two so actually we don't have enough to make or do we get two on the output here let's make just make one. Nope, we only get one on the output. So we don't really have enough iron for that upgrade either. But I guess, again, it's kind of a moot point because, because we also need to get all that wood. All right, well, um, I guess we... I guess we could make those. But because, you know, this is going to be our permanent residence most likely for the whole rest of this series. I really would kind of like to make the big guys. So that means we need to go cut some wood. How much wood's in here right now? Just 10. And it wants... It wants 80. So we need 70 more pieces of wood. Yowzers. Okay. Okay. Well, let's grab our chainsaw, if I can remember where I put the doggone thing. Here it is. 
Grab the chainsaw and let's get a little bit of fuel for it. And also I want to put some of this other stuff away that we currently have in our inventory to free up some space. Uh, we don't need the concrete for now. So we'll just keep that back or put that back in here. That can go in there. How are we doing on food? We actually are kind of hungry. Let's eat a hobo stew. We'll stick this sand in here and our uh, nitrate can go in there. Bandage can go in there and paper needs to go back down in here. Okay, let's grab these mineral waters. And we have three more hobo stews, so we're in pretty good shape there. I'm going to put these brick blocks back in here for now, too, just because they're adding extra weight. And when we go cut a bunch of trees, it's going to make us very heavy. Okay, so yeah, let's go, let's go cut some wood and... Um, how many, how many of these can I make? Iron plating. We make 26 and we needed 35, I think. So we might need to go do a little bit of mining too, but I think I'd rather do that in the morning because when I go down in the mine at night, it attracts all the zombies in the world, including screamers. And they've been digging down into the mine. I haven't they haven't broken through yet, but they're getting really close, and I just don't want to deal with that at nighttime. So I'd, I'd rather go cut wood because, you know, then we can we can manage the zombies a little bit better that way. I guess we need branches to fix that. Now we could cut wasteland wood. We'd get a little bit of uh, charcoal, but we'd get a lot more wood if we go into the forest. So, well, let's see. How much... Oh, no, I don't want to go there. How much wood do we get from these big burned trees? Five. And it's time to go. That's a good reason not to cut wood in the wasteland at night. <laughs> All right. Yeah, let's go to the forest. This is... We're going to spend half the time just running from, you know, for our lives. So I don't want to cut down our, our nice big old oak trees there. We're just going to leave those there, at least for now. That looks weird, man. The big old bounding box up there like that. So we need to head to the west to get into the forest. Master, we are not alone. I know we are not alone. Ow! Nice shot, Edgar. Woohoo! Big mama. <laughs> Big mama's been thumped. All right, we're going to go cross country here. What I mean, what could possibly go wrong, right? I shouldn't say shit like that. Birds could go wrong. They're the one thing that can cause us a bit of trouble. Okay, let's go through this way. Oh, 
We'll have to deal with Zeeks in the forest too, but they won't be quite as bad as the Wasteland Zeeks. Oh shit. This is not a good time to get stuck. <laughs> Ooh. That's the one zombie that really makes me pucker in this game is the zombie bears. They are dangerous. Let's all get out. Okay, we're almost out of the wasteland. Let's get a, a little ways further away from the border of the wasteland, too. So we're out of feral sense range of the wasteland seekers. Um, yeah, we'll, we'll go this way. There's a normal bear. I don't really like him either. Okay, this is good. Let's start cutting wood here. Let's see if anything's tailing us. Okay. Nope, here he comes. Ronnie McDonnie. Sledgehammer sandwich for you, buddy. There you go. Is he dead? Yeah, he did. Is he? Yeah. All right, let's put... So over here. Got 11 wood out of that one. This shouldn't take too terribly long. We have the bird's nest. Nice. That was a 4,000 hit point tree, so we got quite a bit more wood out of that. Let's let's move this direction. We're still kind of close to the wasteland here. I've got a bad feeling about Yeah, this. I know. You always have a bad feeling. Should have some company. Take that head off, darling. You don't need it. There's a four thousand hit point. What cutting? Skill has improved. Beautiful. I love it. And we're encumbered. Okay, let's go offload into the bike before a wandering horde comes in and chases us and we can't run. Oh, we already have 109 uh, pieces of wood. Look at that. Well, we're, we're going to need some more wood for... Um, we're make, actually making the, the boxes, too. So let's just grab a little more whilst we're out here. I think I have a decent amount of planks made up, too, but let's we'll get a, a little more wood. I hear a Zeke. Yep. I thought I heard a Zeke from over here. My senses have picked up something. How did that not kill you? That killed you. You need to die the first time, man. Okay. There's a big coal node. Uh, 
Okay, we got more than one coming, and one of them's Hawaii Five O. So let's go. Ouch. Oh, where to grab that one? Is it just you two? Okay. Hold still. At least he's not. Master, we are not alone. At least he's not feral Hawaii Five-O. Dude, shut up. <laughs> oh, wolf. Time to go. Ow. Okay, let's see. Our bed's this way. Back across the wasteland. Isn't this fun? Nice little leisurely drive at night. Here in the apocalypse. I love it. Hopefully we don't run into that damn zombie bear. Seriously? Come on. Get off there. Okay. Oh, there's a ball sack. Get over yourself. Where's our bed? This way. To be careful not not to run into the iron things because that's what hangs us up. We can plow through the cinder blocks, but the iron scrap will block us. Back into town. Kablooey. I guess we'll... I guess we'll go down into the iron mine. Um... But if it, uh, if it sounds like things are not going to go well for us, we probably won't spend a lot of time down there. I think I went too far to the east. Or, I mean, to the south. Yeah, there's our... There's our tower, man! That's the nice thing about living in the Deshong is it's the tallest building in town. You can easily see where it is. Oh shit, is this a dead end? <laughs> no, we're good. We got this. Donuts, gonuts, donuts. Wait, where's the Deshong? I was just saying you can easily see it, but not when the sky is like pitch black. Well, it's kind of more like a blood red black. All right, where the hell are we at? I think it's over there. Yeah, there it is. We can see the green bounding box. Man, we should just leave that on all the time. That's like a beacon. Here we go. Okay. I guess I could have just followed the bed icon, but that'd be too easy. We don't want to make things too easy for ourselves now. All right. So once again, I'm getting turned around in here. This is where we're going. Okay. So we want to grab the logs and then put them up here and then jump on on the ladder there we go 
and it's morning. Okay, good. So that means when we go down in the mine, it'll only be exceedingly dangerous and not, oh my god, dangerous. There's a difference, in case you didn't know. Um, where are we at? Oh, we're on the wrong floor. All right, so now we have all of the wood for the upgrade. We just need to go mine ourselves a little bit more iron uh, to finish those out. Uh, the table saw should be right there. In fact, we have two of them. I guess we can have this broadcast. There's no reason not to, right? Uh, all right, let's see. We need... What do we need to go mining? We need to get rid of a couple more things. That can go there. I don't care about the oat seeds. We have coffee because we do have the buff for, you know, the coffee. Do I have any, um, uh, whatchamacallits? Miners, candy, skull crushers. No, not skull crushers, rock busters. All right, let's, we're not going to spend a ton of time mining, but we will take one rock busters just to get the little extra boost there. And what do we have for food? Look at that, shepherd's pie. Okay, we're going to eat one of those when we get down there, and that's going to give us a nice um, stamina boost. And we've got mineral water for beverage and red tea, so I think we're in good shape for that. All right, let's head on down to the mine. Get ourselves some iron. So, yeah, this, um, you know, this setup is extremely effective for killing zombos you know i just don't know how well it'll work for a horde night one thing that we would definitely do is i'd get all that upper area upgraded to steel if we do decide to you know try horde night you know, in with that uh, arrangement there and you know because whoops i forgot to block that off because we're now living in the Dishong, um, you know, we don't need to worry about them destroying the place if that indeed happened. I've got a bad feeling Let's close about that. This. I think I've brought you guys down here since I've made some modifications. If I haven't, well, welcome to the mine. Pretty sure I have. So I've got like little uh, storage thingies here that I can kind of daisy chain the iron to the ladder in case. It's super heavy kind of thing. And um, I've pretty much mined all the iron out for the first two blocks up. And now I'm just kind of hitting the stuff, you know, from the ceiling here. Okay, I had to go do something in real life for a couple of moments. So we're back and, um, oh, we, we need to uh, take this and we need to take this and we need to take this for efficient digestion so we get even more bang for our buck out of our shepherd's pie and yeah let's uh, start hitting some of this iron here um so yeah the bad thing about mining the stuff on the ceiling is i you know i lose some of the material because it falls down but you know being as how we're in the wasteland and I normally do mine at night. I just wanted to be all the way down at bedrock and as far away, you know, from the monsters as possible. And so, you know, that's just the deal. But there's tons of tons of iron in this all over the place. So I'm not too worried about the fact that we're losing a little bit of it, even though it does sort of kind of suck. Oh, look at that. You get to see in the upside down there. Actually, it's above us. So I don't know. If, does that make it upside down? Not sure. So we just need to make enough to do the upgrade on the carpentry station. And then I want to have a little extra iron left over for whatever else we'll need it for, which is a lot of stuff. And then we'll see what we can do in the way of making the best storage. And we'll just make that for the move. So it's done and we don't got to worry about it later. That's the plan, man. One thing about this mod 
that's just really useful though is the fact that you can use that other storage. And you know, what are, I don't even know what episode we're on now. Are we like in the 70s or 80s now, something like that? And this whole entire time I've been using those storage boxes uh, for our storage because it's just worked out for us. Well, that and the fact that we haven't until now gotten around to upgrading our carpentry bench. So, yeah, there is that too. Okay, we can... Oh, did I empty you out? I don't think I did. Uh, well, okay. Yeah, we... I'm, uh, why does she have that stuff in particular? I thought... Uh, I don't know. Anyway, let's... How much iron can you carry? We don't want to overload Roberta because... If you didn't see what happened the last time I did that, <laughs> she'll uh, she'll just basically fall down, you know, just fall to the floor and can't move, kind of thing. So we have to watch that. All right, just got a screamer's attention. Incoming and, enemies, prepare for conflict. And you can. Tell from the sound <clears throat> that they're very close to to breaking through to us. They're right right up above there somewhere. So all right, well let's go ahead. Uh, we have enough to do what we need to do. So let's just go ahead and head on back up. At some point, I need to figure out where that hole is and try and do something about patching it up. Um, the reason why it's oh come on get man I'm glad we're not in a hurry. Get up on the freaking ladder. Seriously? All right, you know what? We need to make some more room here. Okay. There we go. Um, the reason why it's not as simple as it sounds is because they're they've dug underneath a POI, and I haven't exactly figured out where. So that's something we got to do at some point here. Down with you. Okay. Yeah, they are... They're somewhere underneath all of that crap. Um, so we just... We need to figure that out and and fix it. You know, fill it in, basically. Because they are just about to us, as you could probably tell from listening to that screamer. Okay, so let's put uh, this stuff in here. Uh, where are you, Roberta? There you are. Uh, we're looking for this. Here, let's grab all of that stuff out of there. Ooh, that got us heavy. Oh, that's stealing. It's okay. I was going to say, oh, man, I had all those in there the whole time, but no, I didn't. Okay, we want to make iron ingots out of ore. So let's get those cooking up. And then we got a little bit of ammunition that we need to put away here. The steel ingots can go in here. The sledgehammer can go in here. No, not in there. In here. This is my weapons chest. We're already starting to fill up again, man. After a couple, a few episodes back, we just sold a crap load of stuff. Uh, this is all stuff to sell, too. But we got to get repaired and all that, so. Okay, so we're just basically waiting for the rest of the iron plating we need to do the upgrade. We're... Not too far off, so we'll put that in there, or we can put this in here. And the stones can go in here. Let's pick these two guys up so I quit stumbling over them. What's left? So we just need eight more of those, so we need 16 ingots, and we already got 50.
Uh, let's maybe make 20 of these. Because, again, I don't want to use everything up. Uh, we're actually going to need the ingots themselves to make iron rebar, which I think we need to make in the, um, the concrete, you know, rebar frames. Or wait, do we do that in Undead Legacy? Let's look. I can't remember now. We make rebar. But what about the rebar frames? This mod might not use those. I, I don't remember. Yeah, I don't see anything in here that indicates we would need to make the frames. What about this? Uh-uh. Wood frame is a variable shape helper. So I guess... I guess we don't, uh, we don't do that. How did I make these then? I must have upgraded them. There we go. Okay, we should have everything we need to make this, or, or do this upgrade. Uh, we need a hammer. There we go. Look at that. It adds a little saw table. That's cool. All right, nifty. So we got that done. Now, let's look inside of here and see what our storage options are. So... Uh, wait a minute. Really? It doesn't give us any more storage options? Oh, balls. I figured we'd... Oh, that's kind of neat. We can make double doors. We can make wood furniture. Crossbow bolts. You know, that's not all that impressive. i got to be honest with you. For all the pain in the ass that... It was, well, it wasn't a pain in the ass, but that was a relatively expensive upgrade, and we're just not really getting a whole lot more out of it. So maybe it's this that we needed to look at. Steel storage. Iron storage. Oh, that is cool, man. Okay, so... Large iron storage. That's probably what we want. Titanium storage? Really? No. I don't think so. Um, this... Okay, what do we need to upgrade this to tier 3? Uh, just an impact driver. You know, I, haven't, I don't think I've found a single impact driver in this whole entire playthrough yet. Uh, we don't have enough steel to make the plating either but we could we could make it but it doesn't matter because we can't upgrade this without the impact driver anyhow so i'm curious what a large iron storage would give us though so let's make some rebar i don't know let's make 10 of those do we get two per or one per just one per okay And then um, it's going to want uh, some more iron plating, too. We just need to make eight more iron plating. I was going to say, what happened to all of the ingots? They were inside of there. They don't broadcast inside of there. Okay, let's make like 10 of those. We just need eight to make the storage. All right, let's see how many slots this has. Large iron storage. What else does this cost us, by the way? Iron hinges, 40 bolts. That's kind of expensive. Oh, the rest of that stuff's not really that big of a deal. I hope this has a lot more slots in it, because it's overall, it's kind of an expensive thing to make, isn't it? I guess we could make bolts, though, too, right? I've never had to so far. Yeah, we can make bolts if we ever had to, but... 
I always, you know, find find enough to I don't have to make them. So yeah, let's just see how many slots this has. Hopefully it uh, has more than 36. Ooh, that's big. Okay. And we can put a sign on it, which is nice. Oh, okay. That's more like it, man. All right. So we got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Eight. So there's 64 slots in there. So almost double the wood. Okay. So what I'm going to do then is I'm going to make several of these. Uh, but I'm I'm gonna go back down to the mine and and do some more mining I think because okay well with the bolts that we have we could make another we have 116 so basically without we can make two more of these without making any more bolts uh, but they have almost double the storage so one of these is like two of those ish all right well guys I'm gonna go and wrap up the episode here then and um. Uh, go do some more mining so we can make some more of these. I'd like to have maybe at least four of these to start with um, up at the top of the Deshong, uh before we start moving stuff. I know I have a heck of a lot more than just four crates in here, but we might need to to kind of consolidate a little bit for, for now uh, because we're going to just live up in the hallway right at the top of the elevator until you know uh, for for starters and then we'll eventually you know m move set everything up uh, on the first floor and and have like a really nice setup uh, eventually that is the plan but, but anyway i hope you guys enjoyed this episode if you did please hit that like button and subscribe to the channel leave a comment to share the video and we'll catch you in the next episode Bye bye